New York, a city pushed to the edge. People pushed to the limit, and no one's got the guts to stop them. It's collection time, Charlie. But there is one way, one man who won't be pushed. Bronson's back in New York, bringing justice to the streets. Charles Bronson, Death Wish 3. In a dark corner of the world, three men will work together to bring you a podcast like no other. This is Fanatically Correct, where the fans, the geeks, and the nerds are always correct. With your host, MSK, Yo Peace, and Omega. This is going to be a very unique episode because we're going to talk about things that we haven't seen yet. Mm. And mm. I guess, which is, you know, usually we talk about after the fact. So wait, we're talk wait, more about, wait, 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 wait a minute. So we haven't thing. seen this. No, we haven't Have seen we anything heard it? we're going to talk about. No. So this episode is going to be about, like, do a trailer to the trailer about what? trailers. For the trailers. That's, that's that, you know what, that's, the gotta, trailer. that's, that's how stop. this episode started. Yeah, that's got to stop. That's got to stop the, 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 the trailers oh. to a trailer. The sneak preview to a sneak preview oh, to me. a trailer. Yeah. No, sir, oh, like, the trailer. So like, some, uh, some people just are getting really annoying with those things. Like some companies are over the top. The teaser things. to the teaser yeah. to the teaser. To the yeah. teaser to the, the teaser. spot. When it's the teaser, the if the teaser. So yeah. To the poster. Yeah, yeah this is uh, <laughs> Fanatically Correct, and we're going to be talking uh, upcoming trailers. Uh, trailers coming out for films later in this year, 2019. I am your host Omega. I am Esker. Yo, peace. And I guess we can. I guess before we start doing specific trailers, a couple things we can say. Like we were talking about there about the teasers, the teasers, and the trailers to trailers. They need to really stop also giving away so much. Oh, yep. <laughs> and a lot of trailers. And we just did an episode. I don't know what order it's going to be aired in uh, on Endgame though. But in fairness, the last Endgame trailer. Before the film came out, was there was a lot in there. <laughs> there, there? There was a lot in there. No, there, there was, there really was. Um, actually, this is a perfect segue to pr- probably what just came out this week. Yeah. Uh, uh, which is the the Spider Man Far From Home trailer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we could use a spoiler alert warning on the trailer to Endgame before Endgame came out. <laughs> They're like, hey, we're gonna give away. I mean, in fairness, a lot of the things in the Endgame trailer were things and i don't want to spot we're doing trailers so i can't spoil it because this should be safe to well, listen to if I mean, you haven't you seen the game yet but there was things that we kind of already knew were going to happen we just weren't sure a hundred percent we were like 90 percent. so they could have left us with our 90 percent. you know they, yeah. they could have they didn't have to make us a hundred percent okay yeah that's definitely gonna happen you know i so i think yeah with that but that's a great trailer to jump into because it's it's uh Oof. Um, well, I guess we have to talk about the pre-spoiler trailer to be safe, because there is now a spoiler full trailer oh that completely <laughs> feeds right after. I know it's hard. It's it so feeds confusing. right after Endgame, so it gives a lot of Endgame away. Hence the uh, the um, Tom Holland, which is funny to have him of all people <laughs> be warned about spoilers. The Tom Hi- Holland comes out at the beginning and says, "If you haven't seen Endgame, you don't watch this trailer." So there's that trailer. So we could talk more about the other trailer which you know i think there's only like what 20 seconds of scenes of difference that goes into it but we do know whether you've seen it or not it's going to definitely explain a lot of things so so wait 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 which trailer are we going to discuss the the first one or the second one the the spoiler one one? let's let's, uh, kind of both without trying to not give away how about we just give a spoiler warning because they give a spoiler warning all right, so we're going to do it in this spider-man trailer discussion we're going to have right now and we'll try not to go back to it uh, spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! There it so, is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so if you haven't seen Endgame and you haven't seen the Spider-Man trailer, that's spoiler warning. Uh, don't listen for about the next ten minutes. Uh, <laughs> go. What's your take on it, MSK? What do you want to say that you can not have to hold back with now? The okay. The first, the the one thing I am going to talk about is Jake Gyllenhaal uh, as Mysterio. As Mysterio in the movie, I think that 
I mean, watching this trailer specifically, it, it already got me in a in a better in a better mood to watch the movie because yeah. the first trailer it was it was kind of like ambiguous. We don't know how if it was gonna be a prequel or or what. Yeah. We didn't know where in the timeline it was gonna be in the MCU. Right. Um, now, fully after watching Endgame, we know exactly where they are and how yeah, they're how? gonna bring Jake Gyllenhaal's yeah. character in. It's yeah. I, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. And the trailer itself like, is really. I, I, it's, he it's might a cool still. Trailer. He might still turn heel. I mean, the the fact that. Oh, I think for sure he's still um, going to turn heel. Spo- we already get the spoiler alert. And we already get the spoiler warning. The fact that he's from an alternate reality. Now, this is where it might get confusing if they're going to go straight up other dimensions because Nick Fury in that trailer says the snap to a whole. Into well, it's a m- multiverse. Yeah, it's going to so, be a multiverse. Yeah, so it's a multiverse, and is the multiverse based on? alternate timelines that create these universes or is there another multitude of universes mm. on top of parallel universes that mm. exist due to changes in timelines? so deep yeah it's gonna get crazy yeah. what's but crazy is, is that you've gotten so much out of a trailer which is our point from the beginning yeah too <laughs> much information in the trailers <laughs> mm. i mean there's I a lot of spoilers though, in that trailer i think they did it though because of that i think a lot of people were a little fussy about the fact after watching Endgame even more so um, about not knowing what direction Far From Home was going to go into and how setting it's going to be if it's a prequel and I think that's what they wanted to do was just get it out of the way that this is not a prequel now they didn't have to give away the stuff about Mysterio and him being from an alternate reality and all that which we kind of we kind of expected yeah. it yeah, not, I mean, it not, makes sense. I didn't expect the, the no, didn't multiverse either. thing and it makes already. sense now after Endgame already yeah. um yeah, but uh, well, I didn't after, really. Expect I'm saying that after part. Endgame, yes, that you expected that though, right? The multiverse, not, the, not the Mysterio being movie. from the multiverse. I didn't expect that. Yeah, no? I didn't expect that either. No, 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 no. no. I didn't even think okay. they were gonna touch it because again, we didn't know if this was gonna be a prequel. Or I'm not a saying. Sequel. I'm not saying by you watching the no, first he's saying, trailer. He's saying I'm after saying Endgame and in after this trailer. Endgame. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. After Endgame, yeah, for yeah. sure, I expected that. No, I didn't. I still didn't because in the comic books and in, in the animations also, Mysterio started out pretending to be a hero and was truly a villain. Now, the question is, will he turn heel or is he just a hero in that universe that's now in our universe? And will there be another evil Mysterio later, possibly paid by another actor or whatever? And, you know, almost like they do in the, the Batman DC multiverse with the Red Hood and all that. Um, or are we going to get that? And on top of that, they also give away that the villains are all from an alternate reality and their elements so same thing here we were thinking that i thought that that was going to be hydro and sandman and you know what i mean like all these other oh right yeah, right i Spider-Man mean i see the sandman thing I yeah see why you and now that. and now they're going to be now they're elements from another universe yeah, also that, I'm fine with that. Ripped through I, this i think whole, it's gonna so. it's gonna be pretty good no it's gonna be a great film i mean a lot of the things that they're showing in it of course the cgi is great again it's, it's gonna be thank you disney it's gonna be a good film. It's gonna be a good film. Yeah, as a trailer, I think I think it worked. It didn't give too. I mean, it did give a lot of away. I shouldn't say that. Yeah, it I gave a lot away, it, yeah. especially if you hadn't seen Endgame. But oh, no, it works it. for the people that have already si- seen Endgame to hype you up. I personally, though, before we move on, and I know we got we got a lot of a lot <laughs> we got of a lot. things to go. Yeah, but I personally would I would have preferred them doing it after Endgame. Just give me the pre the trailer right after Endgame. Um, it was that first one. I didn't need it, but that's just me personally. I really didn't need it. I was not. I was not gonna not gonna be hyped about Spider Man. That's just me. For the first trailer, yeah, I agree with that. For too. the first, actually, trailer, it would have been yeah. great if they showed the the one that that came out this week at, in the beginning of Endgame. Just ruin it for everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah that would have been even better. Yeah, would have been. Amazing. That would have been even better. Yeah, I was like, been, good luck figuring that horrible. out. <laughs> oh, that would have been. That would have been that's horrible. Awesome. So what do you got? Uh, what do you got? So a spoiler warning lifted. Everything else we're going to talk about now uh, is not a film we've seen or sneak peek, so it's safe to be listening again now. MSK has, actually has a pretty better. He's more of a trailer buff and has a little bit more insight how trailers work and like how they affect the film. So kind of like break that down a bit. You, know, you have like a different take on like what you know because the rest of us just see a trailer and like like me, I'm just a, a regular. Tra- I don't go really depth into trailer. Like yeah, yeah, you know, like it doesn't affect me as much. If a trailer, I mean, I do say well, it does give too much. If it yeah. does, I mean, yeah. trailers do give a lot. Like nowadays, trailers give too much away. They and, give too and much. They should, they should just not. Like I don't know what happened and where where did that become popular for for them to be doing these things. But I, I honestly, if I watch a trailer, 
get me hyped for the movie. That's it. I don't need. I yeah. don't need the extra information. Yeah, yeah but I get that. But even even you and I, like MSK, will get into like he like he knows like trailer tricks. Like he'll start yeah. talking about like, oh, that's a trick, and then he's already like yeah. we were, we're hyped and we're pumped for a movie after seeing a trailer, and yeah. he's not. He's actually the opposite. Right. He's like, no, they did this, they did this. Yep. I know those tricks, yeah. and like <laughs> so that's what I'm talking about. I kind of bring those points out because. This is where we hit those notes as we're, you know, bringing up. Yeah, it's true. If it's easier to use one as an example, I mean, go ahead, pick from the list. No, no, I mean, it's true. The trailer, I mean, me watching trailers, it's, it's kind of different because I see the hype of the, as a fan, I'm seeing the hype, I'm hyped for the movie, but I'm also watching it as a a person that, you know, I I do trailers. So like I, I watch it and I, you know, I see the tricks. I'm like, okay, I know what you guys are doing. You're showing me the ending here, but you're only showing a little bit of the ending. So I think it's not the ending. Like I, I, I could kind of predict in some ways where they want you to go, like in your mind, what they want you to think and what they feel. And that's really what trailers are about. They, they want you. They want to provoke a, a certain feeling, a certain tone for the movie before yeah, you watch it. And the best trailers are the ones that fool you. Yeah. Um. If I if you, you go in and you see a trailer and then you watch the movie and you're like, okay, I predicted all of this. It, like the trailer gave away everything, especially the ones now that are giving away everything. It's terrible. So so, not to bring it again because we talk about this a lot. But what you're saying is Iron Man three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, and I've always You'll said this. I've always said this. Iron Man three talk. marketing wise, it was perfect. Marketing right, was that, it, it fooled a lot of people, including myself. Yeah. I okay. I honestly thought it was gonna be a good movie. Right. And it fooled me. Go. And the best trailers do that. The best trailers, if it's a bad movie and they and they create a feeling, evoke a, a good feeling of this movie's gonna be awesome, and you go in and at the end it's not good, then the trailer yeah. did its job. I mean, right. as a fan, you, well, you, you I'll, I'll, as a I'll fan, take, you hate it. As you know, just like well, me and Iron Man three. But the trailer we'll, we'll itself did the great I'll take job. a step back. I'll take a step back, and I know some trailers as we go down the list to like not just be a three-hour episode of us trying to break down every trailer we see. Um, some we're just gonna go down the list and say, yeah, garbage or it looks great, right, or, or whatnot. But one that I think actually kind of does the opposite. I think it doesn't give much away at all, and some people, the little bit they've been given, are already hating it. Uh, and and some people are just like, okay, I really don't know. I'm, I want to see what it is, and I'll just use the, as a first example as far as that. It comes out in October. Is the Joker with uh, Joaquin Phoenix and that take on what we know for sure now is the Joker of Gotham City um, but I think that that's a trailer that doesn't give a lot at all no, you know what I mean? like, and, 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 and I think a lot of people are basing on a very small amount of information they're building the entire storyline and beginning and ending on it but I personally you know watching that as a movie fan I mean again there's the DC thing and you know they're kind of hit or miss a lot lately but I personally am still I gotta see it you know what I mean if they don't give me another trailer in more depth of this one I I, am I in a rush am I overly hyped to go see it right away like opening night probably not yeah Uh, I don't I don't feel it's something that I'm really worried about a spoiler maybe that's the trick and it will maybe there's a real big thing that happens and if it gets leaked i'm like oh man i didn't want to know that you know like i don't i don't know but i think that that's a good trailer i mean i know from what i can see already joaquin phoenix is gonna give a a good performance i seriously doubt he's not and i like everything else i really don't know what the tone is i really i mean do you guys see more into what that trailer is giving i think i personally don't well from what i'm getting from the trailer is they're really going to hit hard on the mental illness aspect of that character um the 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 production production wise if this movie goes through and it's successful they the the production team does have plans on making a lot of dc movies origin that are one shot they're not part of a universe they're not part like a mcu or a or yeah, DC's, like a what if, it, it, a what if alternate take on yeah characters. exactly it's, it's like a one shot comic where it's just one story yeah. and it's it's done um i i personally want to watch this movie because i want to see what they do with because they kind of did it in the dark night with that joker yeah but they to me i think they're gonna drive it more home they, they're gonna deep like they're gonna go deeper into his character into his backstory because yeah. well, we're actually seeing it, a backstory this yeah time. It, it's it's gonna be i mean and i think that's kind of what because i think people were so and, and this is my thing like with alex luther and, and things like that is if i already got one that pleased me which the heath ledger joker pleased me i'm happy with that i was fine and that's why i really didn't hate the jerry leto joker as much as other people did because i don't compare and i'm like hey you know what now it's fine 
to explore other Jokers because I kind of don't want to see someone try to do Heath Ledger again anyways. Yeah, you know what right, I mean? I don't, right. I, that's it. You know, if it would have been Heath Ledger again doing it, great. Unfortunately, we're not going to get that. I don't want to see someone do their Heath Ledger impersonation. Not saying that there isn't a lot of actors that could do it and do it great. I just still rather not do that. I'd rather see different takes on the character. The Jerry Lito one is was a very different approach. And yeah, I, I get yeah. that. I think it, it kind of worked yeah, for SoundCloud that rapper. tone that they went with. But... I think that that's what's offsetting is that what made the heat the, the Heath Ledger Joker so great, taking outside the performance of the actor, is the no backstory, the not knowing. He's telling different stories to everybody right. as to how he got his scars. So therefore, you don't know his origin. They have no fingerprints on him. He just showed up. He has no uh, rap sheet. Like they just don't know. And I I love that. He's obviously mentally disturbed somehow. Right. He's obviously for theatric. sure. There's a mental something exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, but we don't know it specifically, and the not knowing is great. But again, because we had the Dark Knight as a sequel to Batman Begins, they built this dark world of Gotham, and it's not specifically about the Joker, but he is a major character in it. Now, I think that's what's throwing people off. They don't want to know now an origin story. They don't want to have a reason for the Joker being the way he is because, yeah, falling in the bat... If, I don't know if that happens in this one, if that's even going to happen, if he falls yeah. in a vat of acid or if he gets scars or whatever the case is. But that's still all a lead up from different versions we've seen in the comic books of how he snaps. And this one's going to give us one specific take on how he snaps. So, and, and I think a lot of people don't want that. So when I see this trailer, mm-hmm. I think, and this is, this is going to show my age, but I think of the movie Falling Down. Yes. That's yeah. what I see. Yeah, yeah I Douglas. see a man with Michael Douglas. I see a man yeah. just snapping, getting that moment of snap, and just going crazy, and just yeah. from there on, yeah. it's it's yeah. that build up, that that you know that that pressure of, yeah. of just like life hitting him yeah. back and forth. Of back how and society. Forth. Well, un- really unfor- unfortunately, we'll see, and it might be. It might get hated. This might be one of those movies like Silence of the Lambs uh, that is a great movie, but then the critics crush it uh, because, unfortunately, it's it, it, it's a little too real. Um, it, it's taking an extremely villainous, over-the-top character from the comic books and right. from movies and from animation and from so many different platforms and then making it too real for us and almost taking us, and I, and I hate to say it, like the Joker uh, that you know that shot up during Dark Knight, um, that theater that he called himself the Joker. Right. But basically that story of people, which it happens, snap and do awful, horrible things in the real world. And unfortunately, that might be an aspect that's going to hit uh, too close home. to home for yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, right? it's gonna. Yeah. But I mean, it's an so. it's, it's an interesting aspect because I, I I mean, there's one line. I don't know if you guys um, caught this when he's writing down his comic routine. There's a uh, line that says, "The worst part about having a mental illness is people expect you to behave as if you don't." And that right yeah. there kind of tells you where where he's at um, yeah. mentally at that, about yeah. how society has been kind of treating him and. That aspect of that character is very interesting to me, and, and I'm actually hyped to see that what they're going to do with that. Yeah. Uh, if they could yeah, pull it off, I'm not yeah. sure, but I, I do want to see that. Well, I'm going to do a side note because I think this is a very different take, and this is one I really want to bring up. And this could be a trailer that is unfortunately maybe giving a little bit too much away, but it kind of still falls into the DC realm because it's obviously based on Superman. Uh, the origin of Superman, but it's not Clark Kent. Uh, I don't exactly. I know it's already on IMDb what the character's name is, but the trailer to me just looks incredible, and that's uh, and it's James Gunn directing it. It's a film called Brightburn, and that trailer is just. I, I mean, I literally could just watch a trailer. You know what I mean? And unfortunately, that's the problem. They might have given us too much, and I'm kind of just gonna be waiting for all these things to happen in the film. I hope the film's gonna be offering a lot more. Than just what the trailer gives but if you haven't seen that trailer pause watch a trailer on your phone real quick or on your tv or whatnot and now listen to us you know so you, i don't ruin the trailer for you but in that trailer it's i mean it's basically superman evil and it could also be and that's why i'm bringing off a joker it could be a mental illness thing as well because if you take someone like clark ken or kal el from krypton yeah, he can end up with the most, the nicest family in Kansas, yeah. uh, wholesome farmers and all that great stuff. But if he's psychotic, if he's mentally disturbed in a way, like let's say, you know, manic depression, um, schizophrenia, anything like that. And that's what I'm saying. They might go that route because the lack of empathy or sympathy and, and things like that. And if he has 
the powers that Superman has. How do you discipline that? Right. How yeah. do you construct that? This kid throws a tantrum. He's destroying cities, you know, and that's what they're attacking. And it's it's it, it looks like it's going to be shot like a horror, like a thriller, which yeah. we know Gunn right. has the chops to do that. And it's, yeah. and when and by the trailer you're seeing, it's like man, it is creepy and scary. And I don't know what route they're going to go to stop him, unless he also has a kryptonite thing. Because I don't know if it's going to be shot for shot. You know everything that is Clark Kent because, like I said, the character is a different name, but yeah, it's, it's obviously uh, Brandon, based on it. Brayer, uh, Brandon Bray or something. Yeah, like so they're doing the BB. So Brandon they're doing like, the Bray, Peter Parker. Yeah, the, yeah, the Peter Parker, the the Dex Luthor, the you yeah. know the, the double the double uh, uh, letter for yeah. first name and last name. But still, it's, like, it, it's I mean, and I love the take because I've always thought I'm like, man, you know what? They've always done that in the comic books where they give us alternate versions of superman some good some evil red sun where he's raised by the russians yeah. but the they Russian, don't give us the, yeah. yeah but they but they yada yada the upbringing they uh, jump through it they go hey yeah, oh i know but they go he he <laughs> they go he landed in russia was raised by them and now he's this guy they always yada yada right through yeah. the upbringing yeah. where this one is focusing on the upbringing of an evil superman and what that's got to look like. Yeah. Well, it's I don't think, you know? and again, um, they might they might go the with with this one they might go with the psychotic version of it or the mental mental illness of it. But again, it's just that it's a good take on it because if you think about it, it's just kids. You, you were mm-hmm. a kid, and kids are cruel, man. Yeah, kids that's are the same cruel. tantrums. How, and, how do you and you don't need that? you don't need to have mental illness to just yeah. snap as a kid. And yep. uh, getting picked on, and once you notice, hey, wait a minute, I can, I can do this. Yeah, I, I, I can do this and not be hurt. I can yep. do this and stop all this violence. Then it's on. Yeah, you yep. know. So well, as, it's it's that take into it. Yeah, I yeah, mean, it, as it, a trailer it, itself, it, it's very it it straight up. It's a it's a Superman story. It's they yeah, got a Superman story and made it into yeah. a horror like type of movie and, and i dig the feel I, I i really i'm interested in the feel of it because the way the trailer shows it it's it's really how do you give this kid this power and i'm i'm for sure what yopish just said i think it's gonna go toward maybe the bully aspect yep. of it maybe the kids picking on him and him figuring out that he has this power to defend himself and as a kid that's being bullied i mean how how does he not you know go oh, after these bullies with that power you know yeah. So it's and then be it goes into it goes into. Uh, I'll bring you a, just a quick example uh, from one of the next trailer. Uh, what was the one uh, with the three kids that it was shot? Uh, God, what's it called now? I'm trying to remember. It, it, Michael B. Jordan was one of his first films when he was much younger, and the other kid was a great actor. Where the three of them get superpowers because they oh, need contact with them. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of that film now, but it's similar to that because the main character was a nerdy kid who actually had like a, an older cousin that was super cool with him, and then they made friends with the school jock, you know what I mean? Slash valedictorian and popular, but he still got all these powers now, and he still had this background chronicle of chronicle. chronicle there yeah. you go, and he still had that back that backstory of being picked on here and there, and not, and then he would still end up turning into something monstrous you know yep. by, by the end so it's, it's it's not that it hasn't been done before it just, just hasn't been done with with superman, superman. You know what i mean with with right. with those specific and it's those specific powers and then that's what i like about the horror aspect of it is how scary those powers are if they're used to not just hurt you but to scare you right super speed super br- you know cold breath um you know in- impenetrable the the heat vision you know and that's like the double entendre the, the, the double meaning of the word brightburn the name of the town is brightburn but obviously he can burn you know very bright through things with his eyes yeah. so like i mean it's just I, I think it's gonna be a great film that that one i'm really looking forward to i might be getting hooked line and sinker uh you but I, I, i'm hyped i know i know but i'm hyped i'm hyped might, i'm looking yeah. i just want to say one thing before we move on uh, i don't want any uh, fans to email us or hate on us but uh james gunn is actually not the director of this movie he's a producer of it um oh it, he's one of the producers yeah okay. he's one of the producers and, and his brother his two of his brothers brian gunn and mark gunn are the writers right. for it so oh, okay and these guys are big comic book nerds i'm sure so that's yeah. why we're well and, and it's I know very they work similar together to a lot, superman yeah they work together on a lot of stuff so yeah it's yeah. most likely going to be uh the gun family is. he meant the gun family that's what he meant the gun yeah, yeah for let's, sure all of them have their hands on it so let, yeah. let, let's do some <laughs> let's do some quick uh some some flash round because i, I don't want to spend too much time focusing on the bad ones but right. we could go down the list of some let's go some 
Let's bad do this. trailers. Let's do this. Uh, I'll, I'll say quick. Uh, definitely a bad one is. Oh wow! You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say all the trip. All the trailers for shows look good, but I'm gonna say mine real quick because I'm gonna spend forever talking about it. So I just wanna like <laughs> spit it out there. That Fast and Furious Hobbs and Shaw, that's garbage. Oh, I'm sorry. Man, we're All you Fast and Furious fans, whatever, <sighs> that's 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 horrible. Should've I'm sorry. That, it's, it's, I, it's, it's, I know it's gonna have moments in it that are good. The rock, yes, he's funny, he's charismatic. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah, no get on, yeah, no get on us. Yeah. That, no but that's it. That, no I'm mas. not. I, I, no I, mas. Can't. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not gonna watch that movie. And I like Idris Elba. I like The Rock. I'm, I don't even, no. you know, I'm not against Jason Stratham either, but I, I'm i just not a fan of that franchise. So I'm out. The trend did uh, nothing for me. I'm out. Sonic? Sonic? <laughs> oh, I wanted to touch you know, on Sonic later you know, on. That, okay. That, Sonic. Oh. okay, we'll go back. We'll revisit. We'll revisit people Sonic. Already, we'll revisit people are getting Sonic. warning. Um, oh. On Latin, unfortunately, we need to elaborate a little bit on. Yeah. It okay, here we go. Uh, Men in Black International. Yeah, I don't think we need to dive through. Really yeah, you know what? No, I, I'm, I'm gonna, wait, I'm gonna wait, wait, probably wait, wait, disagree wait, wait, with you guys wait, wait. here. I don't mind it. Really? I don't mind. Well, I, don't, I don't mind. The movie. I don't hate it, and I'm probably gonna see it, but I don't think it's gonna be anywhere near as good as the first three. No, I, I mean the trade. Uh, if we're talking trailer wise, the trailer, it, yeah, it wasn't that great, but no. the feel of the movie, it, it's very like, I think they're gonna match it, not match it in quality, but they, it, I think bro, it fits in that world. Gaga, bro. Kaka. <laughs> that is caca. No, the trailer, is is good. The trailer itself is not good, but I'm Stop saying it that right it's, now. and it's predictable. I mean, are we? I'm pretty sure Liam Neeson's the villain in that movie. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like, I'm just gonna call it right now. Yeah, maybe we'll revisit this, direction. and maybe it got me. But um, yeah, yeah, oh, you might oh, be right. Oh, you, you've got, you got, and got, yeah. sir. Because uh, it's really I'll Thor. Say, I'll say a, <laughs> I'll, I'll, that, yeah, that would be good. I'll say a quick one. Child's Play. I think that the only reason it's getting, like, it's the only reason I even put it on the list is because it's freaking Luke Skywalker, yeah. the yeah. Joker, yeah. Yeah. Mark Hamill doing the voice of Chucky. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not watching. I think that. that's the only. Yeah, I'm not that exactly. I'm probably watch it on Netflix and more today. I just watch it on YouTube I'm to watching. get the best clips. You know, on YouTube, in other words, like the best clips of. Uh, Mark Hamill being the Joker, basically uh, the trickster as Chucky, um, throughout this movie because I just seriously doubt that it's gonna be. Uh, it's just the whole premise movie. of the movie does not. I mean, that trailer didn't sell me at all. There's well, nothing yeah, there. I'm not so on the trailer, but I'm watching it because I want to see how they, it how they, black mirror me, because <laughs> now now are you going with the technology is wrong or yeah, are you going AI. or are you going with what the it movie. is, which is the soul. I need to yeah. see this. This is what I want to go see. You want to see if they go voodoo, uh, right. the, the original storyline, right. which is voodoo soul transfer, right. or, is or it if it's AI gone wrong, yep. Judgment Day, mm-hmm. Cyberdyne. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't. I don't need to see that. Yeah. You let us know. You let us know. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. You you let us know about that movie. I'll let you guys know about Men in Black International. Yeah. There you go. Uh, How about uh oh that's that's a quick one. Uh, I mean it, it's it looks like garbage. Dora the Explorer. That's nope, like skip. I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna even comment uh, on that. I, I gotta go watch it. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You, well, here's the only comment I'll make about it. I don't get it because the kids watch Dora and she's supposed to be a little kid, but the movie's like a high school age Dora. Yeah. Is it a but sequel to, to the school? show? I don't know. Yes. I don't know. That's and I don't want to know. But my point <laughs> yes. is, I just get she's that. She's an explorer. I'll get. I'll get that out of the way. It's not. It's not for our demographic, anyways. I mean, no, none no, of us grew I'm, up with that show. I'm gonna go. I I grew up with that show. At age 25, you grew up with that show. <laughs> well, I grew up with that show. I grew up with that show because um, I had a I had a daughter who watched it so many times. Oh man, that, I'm so uh, sorry. Oh wow, I'm so yeah, sorry. So yeah. That, yeah, no, oh, that's I, true. Yeah. I, yeah, I grew up she's... as well with the show, so I have to go watch it with with her. Definitely. Yeah, she. I don't know. She might not like. She might be disappointed because of <laughs> she's no, gonna get no, mad she, that you took her to watch that movie. Age you know, Dora, yeah, no, she's not like, gonna be disappointed. I'm telling you, my my uh, kid is very um, she's she's good uh, with movies or not. <laughs> Frozen two. Uh, Godzilla, King of Monsters. I bring that up because I want to bring <laughs> completely fast. What the hell out of me? Saw that, right? Uh, what did you say? <laughs> I said Frozen Two, and you oh, came in with yeah. Godzilla. So yeah, so Godzilla, so Godzilla, King of Monsters. That's funny. Anyways, Godzilla. Yeah, what were you gonna say, Omega? Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. No, we're not. Talking we're not talking about, about that movie, yo, please. We're not talking. Yeah, we're not talking about Frozen Two. We're not talking about Ice Man. Uh, just, uh, just. Uh, I'll give you the one side note. Frozone did it better. Anyways, oh. uh, so, so yeah, <laughs> with uh, 
Godzilla King of Monsters, I bring that up to me. I think actually I think it looks pretty good. I enjoyed the first Godzilla film. I I enjoy I'm not going to say it's a great movie, but I enjoyed the King Kong movie as well, which also is building towards this which, universe. Which King Kong did you enjoy? The most recently one, the one with Samuel Jackson and mm. uh oh, Okay, uh Con Con King, yeah, whatever. Skull Island. Skull yeah, Island. That one wasn't yeah. bad. I mean, it wasn't with, with, great, with, but it wasn't yeah, bad. With, with, with uh, Loki. Yeah. Well, I'm just looking forward to the buildup because in that film, they build up towards the Godzilla universe because that's taking place during Vietnam, so yeah. it's like a jump back. But that's because they're building towards King Kong versus Godzilla right, right. Uh, type of thing. Yeah. So, I, 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 and the reason I bring up the Godzilla, the Godzilla King of Monsters, not, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's a basic trailer. You know what you're going to get. You're either going to like that kind of a monster movie or you're not. It's, it's a different take on it. It's not the garbage that they did with, uh, was it Matthew Roderick? And it, that was just horrible. Matthew, yeah. Um, yeah. Matthew it's Brother. the one that, you know, the, it, it, you know, it's a sequel to the first Godzilla, the most recent Godzilla one that they did, which yeah. it was a different take yeah. and a different way I still haven't seen story. that one. Is that one good? Because I still have not. My kid yeah. saw it. You actually yeah. you took my kid to you, see that movie. Yes, we took and I have a not baby, seen it. and he loved it. He was like two, and he was enjoying it. Yeah, it, it's it's definitely a very different uh, storytelling of Godzilla. But why bring up this trailer on a, on, a, on a more fanatically correct uh, note for the other two hosts is because it's starring our friendly number eleven from Stranger Things, mm. and that trailer oh, is out for Netflix, Millie which it doesn't Bobby come out so Fourth of July. Mm-hmm. Millie Bobby Brown. I like and I like where they're going with it. I like it already. Yeah. The the trailer was great. The great the, trailer. The Stranger Things trailer was perfect. Yes. I, I think it's a, a kind of a, a different shift for us because they're doing Fourth of July, Independence Day, summer. I'm the first two seasons were both Halloween ish time uh period. I mean with the second one, the second season definitely was it had a Halloween episode. But regardless, it's I think that we kind of were in that fall darker time and it, it kind of feels like oh the friendly summer time but they're kind of changing you know the tone of the season so i'm curious as what you know what is it going to be still with the alternate dimension thing or is it going to be something already from our world that yeah. we, you know i think we don't know about I mean, will's gonna go so. I, I don't know what's happening to will now yeah i think will's yeah. gonna turn i think so too man i kind of have a feeling he's gonna turn too yep spoiler so. For those that have never seen it. <laughs> so yeah, no, but Stranger Stranger Things uh, season three, uh, I'm looking forward to that on the uh, yeah. show's end. Uh, I'm also looking forward personally. I mean, I know by mid season I'm going to hate it. I'm just going to brush through it. I'm not going to get into it. But Fear the Walking Dead. Yeah, I'm not going to oh, talk about uh, that. Listen, I'm Stranger like, Things. Stranger <laughs> Things. <laughs> I'm not talking about the Walking Dead. I refuse. And, and, I refuse. That's crossover. a different episode. Yeah. Like Stranger yeah. Things. Before you, you change the subject. Um, <laughs> the the setup for that trailer the way that music hits and the way um yes. dustin it, comes back it from changes. camp and that just the the feeling that evokes like the 80s feel is still there yeah. but not in a gimmicky way like no I, I think that trailer did a perfect job selling that show and i think everyone was already all in on stranger things but i think as a trailer it it works perfectly. Yeah, it works. I mean, they're setting us up for what the vibe is going to be for this one. The other ones are more of a coming of an age, uh, and this one's. I mean, I mean, still they're all you know, coming of age uh, stories because it's a group of young kids that is still going up. But we're starting to get that more independent, uh, you know, on their own. We're getting that summer. They're getting older. They're getting into uh, adolescence. They're you know, and, and yeah, and they're drifting know, apart. You kind of see like the the team exactly. kind of doing their own thing, and and I think that's going to be a, that's going to play a big part in it. What's the character, the Ferris Bueller looking kid uh, with the long hair? Steve. Steve, like he's kind of like getting really nerdy now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he's like, like they're like, cha- like I, 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 it's like you're seeing a lot more dust and rubbing off on him yeah. than the other. Which is great. I, I, they're, they're becoming <laughs> yeah. best friends. That's what it is, yeah. and it's it's awesome. Which is which is it, yeah, it's an interesting dynamic to see that. So yeah, Stranger Things. That's a that that's a good looking trailer. I, I I agree with MSK as an actual trailer. They're doing their job. Uh, back to movies. I mean, let's go to one big one. Because if we don't talk about it, it's going to be insane, and no one's going to give us any credit. I'll let uh, your piece dive more into it, but let's uh, talk about Rise of Skywalker. I mean, I'm I'm diving in. I I see that um the the uh, what I was noticing is the uh, change of of not the change, but what <clears throat> we thought was going to happen, and it looks like it's not going to happen anymore. Which is Skywalker thing. It's back. It's back in your face. Um, <laughs> so is she a Skywalker now, or was that a lie? Or well, what's I, I could, happening I could with give this? you guys a, a, th- a 
theory that's going around. I don't know if you guys want me to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Do okay, the, the, the theory, idea so. is J.J. Abrams was originally gonna he was gonna do more than the first film, right? He did the right, first yeah. film, he plotted it out, and then uh, Rain, uh, Ryan Johnson did the second film, The Last Jedi, and he changed Ray's the idea of what Ray was gonna be. That her whole backstory they changed. What's a lie? Yeah. Now that J.J. Abrams is back, I think they're going to try to retcon that a little bit and kind of try to make her a Skywalker. And the theory is that um, the theory is that she's a clone off Luke's arm that was cut off from Empire Strikes Ooh. Back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh. So I don't know. And clones and clones do exist. Yeah. In the uni- so I don't know if it's a hard sell it, it all depends on if they if they do do that theory if they if they write that they have to write it really well and that's hard it, it's I, I think it's gonna be hard to pull that off well well hold on I actually mm, I'm gonna I'm gonna spit out a theory now actually if the emperor's involved it might be from Anakin so actually she could just be a a, a created life from the DNA of Anakin skywalker yeah. as opposed to or luke i mean the other theory is that she's a clone of or comes from some sort of dna from the emperor himself and that's why you hear him Oof. at the end and there's a lot of theories going on i think star wars as as the fans are seeing it they're gonna get so much criticism oh, whichever yeah. oh, way they oh, go no. oh, yeah. like they oh, are no. screwed. doesn't matter if you already started hating it since the first one, it's not enough like the original, whatever. You're just gonna keep hating them moving forward. Yeah. And I think it was the same thing with you know with Star Wars. Even though a lot of people did take a turn, so maybe they'll get people back. They took a big turn from Force Awakens, uh, uh you know, with it they liked it and then hated uh, uh the Last Jedi. The, what is it? the Last Jedi? Yeah. I think the 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 problem with Last Jedi is that that's the movie it, feel wise, like cinematography wise look the least star wars and i think yeah. a lot of hardcore fans really took offense to that um now going back on this trailer i think it's going back to a more yeah. star wars feel i think jj abrams yeah. is gonna bring back that that Get type that of feel feeling uh, that used to be you know before the last jedi i think a lot a yeah. lot more fans will be enjoying this a little bit more which the good thing about the break because i was kind of like there's a lot of people like yeah i liked it but it was too much like the originals and then they got you know the last jedi like oh my god that's horrible like, you know, there's a total contradiction like yeah. it's too different now whatever so now they'll appreciate the the step back maybe to uh you know the the right so of you hope and how so you goes. hope but i i think again that movie it's it's it's, it's, it's it's screwed. That's dead. what you said it's a couple dead. episodes yeah. back, and yeah, I agree. No, yes. I did, I did, I, and I think it's dead on on bef- before it even comes out. I think, I think, um, I think the fans, the ones that love it, are just gonna love it already and just not pay attention to whatever, like the what you know what I mean. Like they're just gonna love it, and then the ones that have been hating it are are gonna tear it up, yeah. even worse. And um, it's just one of those things for me yeah i'm personally like, hyped because see. after seeing the trailer i mean it's not the best star wars trailer i think the force awaken kind of it, it i can't i think the force awaken was a better trailer because we hadn't seen those characters in like 40 years together yeah but yeah this trailer i think you know you still see lando in in the in the yeah. millennium the falcon lando you see the goodbye to to carrie fisher to, to princess leia yeah and you see i mean you hear the emperor at the end and you hear you watch the remains of the first death star or the second death star um you know it it, I, it got me kind of hyped i mean i i'm i'm already ready to watch the movie so i hope you know i hope it's just a great film i just hope it's so, a great speaking film. of getting hyped up how about dark phoenix wow <laughs> you don't you, you guys I, i'm out i'm completely out in the x-men i'm done i'm yeah, done yeah i um i i am um that trailer doesn't look good to me at all. Okay, that- let me let me put it this way, Omega. So, you know, I'm okay. I'm okay with the new X Men. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and I think. Um, Side note: No Gambit movie. Yeah. Okay. Unless unless Marvel's doing it. Yay! Yo, peace is very very happy. So, <laughs> so I'm I I'm okay with the the new the new class and. Even though all the mistakes and everything that's with the continuity and everything well, that's wrong with X Men, I'm okay with them. I am not. I'm, I'm done with 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 Phoenix. I'm. I really don't care what happens with it. I'm. I'm not even being. I'm not even being that guy that's just like 
because because I don't, I, I don't even know how to tell you this, but it's just <laughs> I'm done. I'm done with Phoenix. I, I don't want to see it. I don't care. I really don't care. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be done right. I think what they did in the their first take on it in the films and, and just made it like a a personality as opposed to it. And this, this obviously in the trailer, they're showing that. It's actually the comic book story where an entity uh, merges with her and that's the what the what the dark phoenix is so i i i think it has a better chance of the the trailer. i mean the trailer didn't i mean i'm already you know me i'm already out on the x-men and but as a trailer yeah. i do i will say that the best part of the trailer is when magneto saying that thing of how they're always arguing and, and xavier's always apologizing and he's he's just i don't care i don't care anymore well yeah. that's me yeah, that's that's how I feel as a fan for X Men. I I don't care about these movies anymore. Look, and the last the last X Men movie is Logan. Yes, I agree. <laughs> that's, that's great. The one that's that, a great. That, yeah, that's <laughs> there, the X Men uh, world has too many fan films. What I call fan films that I don't even <laughs> want to touch. So, yeah, I know Omega's uh, hyped for it. He'll probably see it opening night. But no, I'll um, see. It. I'm I'll, see, I'll see. Well, not opening night, but I'll see most likely opening weekend. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll see at some point at that time, but I, I mean, that's that's my take on it. Uh, how about we circle back and we get into a little bit um, Aladdin? All right, go. As of now, there's been two, actually like three or four. Okay, that's the other thing. There's way too many trailers for Aladdin. <laughs> They're trying to find. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get Yo Peace gather his thoughts because he's probably gonna attack the first trailer, which is the one that everyone's gonna talk about, which is our first glimpse at um, uh, Genie. Uh, but I will say that as of right now. There's been, it looks like they can't find a direction to market towards. They have like a Jasmine trailer, That's and then they have the like the more musical no trailer, direction. and then they have their, their marketing you know, scheme is basically to try to get as much nostalgia anything. from our and, generation and any, to watch that anything movie. they can get going, anything they get going. Yeah. So today I read that this movie will be thirty minutes longer than Aladdin. Than thirty Aladdin, minutes, guys. Man than the original Aladdin. <clears throat> so they invested all this money, all this time in doing a live version of Aladdin and they're only giving us 30 minutes longer, guys. 30. So, the first trailer that I saw, my God, what happened with Genie? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? And don't tell me no because I know they went back and they fixed it. No, you know Ish. what? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna disagree with you. I don't think they fixed it. I think they purposely did that. They showed all the genie things. Remember these trailers and and uh, Omega, you wanted me to go deeper into the insight of trailers. Yeah. These are not final renders. Um, yeah. You know, not counting DC movies. For some reason, they still use shitty renders. But whatever. Um, <laughs> on the trailers, these are not the final renders of the movie. They just give you the the, the previews, and and it's it's not completed. The CGI is not completed. Um, the the blue genie, I think they showed it first because knowing everyone would want to see Will Smith's character, how he looks, they showed it first, and then in the second trailer they showed the more human one, yes, which so actually makes it better. That I think they made makes it, better. it that I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. And here's my problem with the whole movie. I'm gonna have. I'm telling you right now, my problem, just like I had a problem, we had a problem with the DC and Batman vs Superman. My problem, I'm telling you, is gonna be Jafar. For sure, that oh, guy's yeah, voice 100%. is not Jafar. Uh, that guy does not scare at, anybody at all. At all. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people who don't, you know, really, you know, the, the younger crowd, especially that didn't grow up on the original Aladdin like we did, is it, not gonna be as affected. But like, for example, like the the Jasmine, I, I think that she looks too like American. American. I, mean, I understand the actual actress is descent, a uh, Middle Eastern descent, she looks but American. she just looks like Americanized, yeah, uh, Middle Eastern descent. And I'm getting that from the trailer as well, not just from you know the you know from what I've seen of the actress yeah. and, and you know power same as Aladdin, like that. same as Aladdin, yeah, the character as well. Aladdin say, and, and Aladdin same thing. He doesn't have the the, the right look. You know, what I, mean? I, I there's something about him that he looks more like a like a henchman. But, Maybe he also like he would be one of Jafar's at least, henchmen. At least he's more more. Uh, uh, of a real descendant of of I, yeah, I, the Jafar the Jafar, Jafar is looks really terrible. Yeah. terrible. I'm, 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 I'm hearing a lot of complaints that yeah, if Iago if Iago doesn't talk, also that's going to be. Horrible, I mean, I, to me. I think I think the Jafar being I mean I don't that's a weak Jafar. These actors are unknowns Jafar. basically, right? The 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 person playing Jasmine, she was only in the Power Ranger movie. Yeah, that's what yeah, I remember her from. from. 
yeah. And everyone else, I really don't know, except for Will Smith, obviously. Um, I will say in the last trailer that that came out when he was like, they were making fun of like the the mummy thing. Or, I don't know if you guys saw that last trailer. Um, it wasn't. I don't. I don't mind Will Smith. I don't think I, I'll be okay. I'll be okay with Will Smith. Yeah. As long as everything else fits, everything else yeah. is not fitting for me. No. Yeah. And I think no. the problem is, is that I really love Aladdin. Like I really, that's like my favorite Disney movie that's and animated amazing. movie. And I, you know, if this does not work out, I'm, I'm just gonna blow. Up. I'm, I'm just gonna get very yeah. angry. I, I think, yeah, I, I, don't, uh, I don't know, I don't know what they're doing here. I mean, Disney's doing. They're, they're when it comes to the, the live action reproductions of the animated films, they're, they're, they're hit or miss. They're doing but, it with the DC. But it's, it's not either the, really good it's or really not bad. It's not for everything because Lion King looks decent. It looks decent because John Favreau already killed it with the Jungle Book. The with Jungle Book, yeah. You know, he already knows what he's doing. So, not to take away anything from Guy Ritchie, but that's not really his type of film. No, it's true. You know, right. and it, it's just gonna be a little jarring to see his, you know, his fast cutting and and I don't know. It, it, I mean, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. May, you know what? You know what? If I get the carpet ride in the inside the volcano, I'm okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's gonna be all CGI. That's gonna be right, good stuff. Right? I mean, and like it's, game, it is funny. Like I want to see like the gr- game, like the like the Sega Genesis. Oh game. my god, that game is amazing. Oh, yeah, that game is amazing. If I get that, if I get that, oh. then 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 I'm okay. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> That's the whole thing with our generation. So really, Aladdin captured so many of like the you know, like I was like you know I, I don't remember how old I was for Aladdin, but I might have been like forty three or ten. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no. But I, I'm, I'm just saying, like I was at an age where I like I wasn't liking like Disney anymore. You know, I was watching you know all all you know Spider Man and, and Batman, and you know I was you know heroes. You know what I mean? And then Aladdin was able to capture that as well as like the jasmine princess and like it was just a complete you know film. it was the genie but and, it was the genie yeah you know genie yeah. he brought he bought he bought it home he bought it home but the whole like that the the, the side characters abu yeah. the carpet you know what i mean like you said the carpet's a character so yeah it's gonna have its moments because i think it's the same thing you have these side characters the tiger you know jasmine's tiger like it, it, it's just such a well thought up story yeah. and it has so much you know different unique characters to it but the problem is that any hero story needs a great villain and we're just going right back to that I don't, that's not yeah. gonna no. be good i mean this this it's movie is gonna be hard for me to watch because the aladdin the original i was in second grade when i saw that movie like it was like my first field trip and and seeing and seeing yeah. that movie just just going off like representation wise no no other there's no other brown superhero that i could relate to and then yeah. and, and back then i see yeah. another brown character that looks like me you know same color and i could relate to that character yeah. and it was great that movie was amazing this movie better that better not mess that up you get what i'm saying like nah i think it captures the same story of the of i mean and that's the most impacting thing of of the lat you know the, the the story of aladdin is the rags to riches you know the you know being counted as something when you're not you know the diamond in the rough again they're trying to promote this to the nostalgia of people who liked the animated version it's not a brand new movie that no one has any clue what it's about so they gotta hold up to that and you know, I don't know. I, I, it's, I and think again, everyone's very you need unsure a of it. Villain yeah. that works with a voice, I know. with the with the power, yes. the look, yep. the scary look. Give me somebody that's yep. that's been in war, missing an eye, something. You cannot <laughs> give me that guy. That guy, <laughs> I, I will look at him and I will throw him in the cave. Okay. Yeah. I feel like they I, got the first unknown British actor there's said, so yeah, you could many be guys let me tell you I would have loved um, what's his name from the mummy movies and the Deuce Bigelow um, I forget I can't remember the actor's name but the taller guy mm, that Rob Schneider yeah he would have been a great Jafar <laughs> yeah Rob <laughs> 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 you can do it I let him get that left you can do it I think he would be it. a better Jafar than this guy <laughs> Oh, that's uh, funny. Rob Schneider. Hashtag, where's Rob you know Schneider? You know what? Anyways. <laughs> you know, give me, give, where is Billy Zane? Give me Billy, Billy, I'll Zane. Take Billy Zane. I'll, I'll take, take Billy Zane. Zane. Give me Billy Zane. I would take Hashtag Billy Zane. Where's Billy, Billy Zane? Zane? Listen, I want to yeah, segue okay. from one bad trailer. The, the next trailer I'm going to bring up is, I mean, we, we touched on it very, very little in the beginning of this episode. Um, oh. What is up with that Sonic trailer? <laughs> well, hey, the fans, the fans, yeah, that music would have been yeah, awesome. Right? Yeah, no, that if they would have used right? that music for that trailer, that would have been great. But they used Gangster Paradise. Why? Which, I'm sorry, Yopi, I know your wife is going to listen to this or probably never going to listen to this. 
but that song should have never been used for this trailer. What does one have to do with the other? Why is Guess's Paradise yeah. being played with Sonic the Head? When? Since yeah. when? Yeah. Since no, and it was when? played for the whole trailer, and that's what upsets me the most, because I'm like, okay, no. when are they going to break this song? When are they going to change yeah. the song? Yeah. And it, it was There's the whole thousands of rappers and, and people that make beats. Get them to get the song from, from Sega and get them to remix it. Yeah, that's what we want. We want Sonic the Hedgehog. But you know what? And the, I'll give a word to one thing. I don't, I mean, I didn't really read all the hate. I mean, I hated it as soon as I saw it. Like, that's a horrible looking Sonic. But I didn't go spilling, you know, my my displeasure <laughs> no, all terrible. over the internet. It looks terrible. But apparently, so many people did because I mean, it's out. It's official. They're re-rendering. Yeah, that. yeah. Like they're Good. straight up re-rendering Sonic to look more like the game. Like the the, the fans won. I'm impressed. So the the <laughs> funny thing is listening is is it was the meme that you sent where is a bird, it's a statue of a bird carrying a man and it says that is that is yeah. uh <laughs> <laughs> that's that's so, yeah i know what you mean we're talking about that's jim carrey trying to save this movie oh <laughs> because that's, i mean yeah technically that's the only reason i will ever watch that, that movie that's the only reason but the thing is that trailer relied way too much and i i, I love jim carrey i love it, yeah, it, it was and it looked like carrey. he's going back to like liar liar type jim carrey yeah, yeah. but it yeah. it relied it, it too much on him it was too much and i needed more sonic and and the joke about the baby being in the bag, and it was kind of lame. And oh my uh, god, it was. I know. It was bad. Uh, it was bad. Uh, I'll bring up one other film, and then we'll do a couple more uh, uh, shows, um, just to touch quickly, uh, to start moving along. I mean, Toy Story Four, whatever. Please stop Pixar saying something's the last, and then not it not being the Shit, last. I thought but Toy Story Three was perfect ending. I don't know why they're making exactly. This movie. They, they, I think they should have left it. And Sporky, come on, what is that? Sporky. The trailer Sporky. didn't sell me at all. No, me neither. Um. But I'm going to get into, just for a second, um, have you guys watched the trailer for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, the new Tarantino? Yeah, one? that looks great. Yep, I saw it. Okay, I kind of want to say it gives me, which I'm looking forward to because Tarantino's doing it, so, you know, it's going to be even crazier than that. But doesn't it kind of give you the vibe of the, of the what is it, the Nice Guys, uh, it, was it called? With, nice Guys? Uh, yeah. What it's called? Um, with Ryan Gosling and, and Russell Crowe. Yeah, Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe. Yeah. Like, it gives me that vibe to it, but with Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, a little bit. And Tarantino I, I already, directing I've it. Read some, uh, I've read some things that Quentin Tarantino said this is the closest film, um, the uh, closest that he'll get to redoing something that looks like uh, Pulp Fiction. Okay, mm. okay. I'm not getting that vibe, though. I'm not getting the Pulp Fiction vibe. No, so I'm not either. Maybe the trailer's... Yeah, the trailer's showing us something yeah. different. So no, but I agree. I it it feels more like a nice guy. And and I want to like know... Nice guys. I'm interested in how they're going to do the whole Sharon Tate thing and the Char- Charlie Manson thing, the Charles Manson thing. And, and you know, it, it's interesting. That movie... I mean, the vibe of that movie... It's, it come on. It's, it's sure, Tarantino. Yeah. It's Tarantino. Yeah, it looks different. I, I, I'm looking forward yep. to that. Uh, we were talking earlier off show, so we could bring that up a bit so we can get to series. Uh, how about that Watchmen series mm. at HBO? Mm. I don't know what they're doing with that. That's... Put out. I, I don't know anything about I want to. I'll, I'll be honest. I want to watch it. That I definitely want to watch it. And yeah, I want to see sure. where it goes. I, I, I feel HBO... HBO is... I, I have hope in HBO to do good by it, but it's not I really mean, a hype trailer. But what it does do is, if you're a fan of Watchmen, especially the film, is you're coming with the angle of uh, what are they doing? You know what I mean? Like it, it doesn't look like it feeds off the direct storyline that we got in the film at all. And then like the characters, like it looks like the um, Jeremy Irons is playing Doctor Manhattan, but he doesn't look like Dr. no, Manhattan. he's gonna play Ozomantius. Oh, okay. Uh, that's why yeah. I, I wasn't sure. Like, it's like, so we didn't. I mean, maybe there's going to be a Doctor Manhattan. Maybe there's not. Does it take place right before Watchmen? Does it take place years? Uh, actually, I'm I'm just reading right now. I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off, Omega, but I'm just reading that it looks like it's going to be a continuation from the original Makes show. Sense. I mean, from the original the movie, comic. Comic from the comic books, not the film. Not though. well. Not I film. mean, the film is very close to the comic. Very close to the comic. So it might exactly. as well so be. It be um, the film. But it looks like it's a continuation. Okay, that makes sense. See, then that 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 makes that sense. makes sense. Yeah, that does make sense. sense. So the war. So I'm looking forward to the war shack thing. I mean, unfortunately, then it, it, if if it is a continuation, we won't have war shack. You know, spoiler alert. You want to see Watchmen? Watch, watch, <laughs> watch, watch, watch Watchmen. Watchmen. Right. Watch Watchmen before you watch the series, <laughs> but it's still going to be disappointing because that's a great character, and we're getting like this Rorschach 
cult or movement or type of thing yeah i mean it's gonna be um lindelof uh damon lindelof that did lost and the leftovers mm. that's in charge okay. of this leftovers is great leftovers so, is and in, in your piece I, I i don't know if you've seen it yet but yeah. leftovers is amazing is that a food show <laughs> yeah, it's out of food. Uh, <laughs> this guy. Uh, uh, another quick show: Netflix Dark Season Two. Uh, that's looking great. Oh, yeah, that looks uh, that, awesome. Yeah, that's and especially the way that I mean, watch if you haven't seen Dark, watch Dark on Netflix so you can be caught up. And it's two original language. It's great clipping. Yes, watch yeah. it in German. Actually, yeah, even German. if you want to watch it in Spanish What's or any English? other language other than English, if you do not do English. Just letting yeah. you know. Yeah. Heads up. So yeah, let's 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 wrap it up. Uh, I believe um, again we're gonna make a mention. Wait, it too. Be... We never talked about it too. Let's talk about Ooh. it too real quick because that's Side note, one of the best too. trailers I've seen in a while. Uh, I don't know if I told you guys, but to me that is one of the most smartest remakes that I I've seen in a while because yeah. they've done it the right way. They, right. they took something that already was creepy as it is, but they've split it, and it looks amazing for me. Like, I'm so in. I'm in. I'm all the way in. It looks it, it, it looks scary, and it looks like they're changing the story up some um, as to how Pennywise is coming yeah. back. I mean, it, it just... Yeah. It, hey, it, it looked be, creepy, be, man. <laughs> like, that, that trailer was awesome. Like, no, I, it was I done, was in. It was done great. I was in. And, uh, uh, again, the guy playing it, like, man, Bill... His name Bill something, Bill Scar. Oh, Scar. Scar. Yeah, it's a Scar. Scar. That's Floki. Yeah, the youngest one. Flo- Floki from Vikings, yes. little brother, yeah. and uh, er- Eric from True yes. Blood's little brother. Really, man, what a family! And the doctor from uh, from uh, the, from, from the Thor MCU, and, uh, from MCU, from MCU. Yeah. Man, that family, like unbelievable. Yep. Yeah, no, he's actors. awesome. He is. He's incredible. So before uh, Yo Peace gives out our where to reach us and uh, wonderful. Usual information, uh, just going to remind everyone, again, we will be paneling August 10th at the Sunrise Comic Con. Uh, tickets are for sale at uh, sunrisefl.gov backslash tickets. Yeah, and where you can find us, you can find us on our new website, which is fanaticallycorrect.com. And there you're going to find pretty much all of our information. We're going to try to keep you guys um, as updated as we can, as much as we can. Um, you know, with our jobs and everything, but that is gonna lead lead you into your Spotify. You can go from to iTunes from there. It's just a a, a click away from everything. You got your Google Play. You got your our Twitter, our our uh, Instagram, and of course our Facebook, which we don't use that much. We're also on another website called MeWe, but I mean, it all depends on where you want to reach, where where you want to find us. Just go to fanaticallycorrect.com and you'll find all that information there. Also, there's a, um, a tell us section on the bottom. If you write anything, suggestions, anything that you like, don't like about our show, you can just write it there. It'll come straight to our email and we'll reach out to you guys. Also, I want to thank everybody that has voted on our questions or had liked our Twitters. Our Instagram. Thank you guys for for uh, keeping us going. Before uh, I believe MSK takes a, a different twist for a necessity. I just want to mention. I'm probably sure there's a lot of trailers. We have a long list here, but you know we'd be here for hours talking about them. Uh, 2019 is folding out to be a pretty good year film wise. Uh, you know, in, in some areas, uh, not so good. But so we didn't hit everything, and maybe we'll tweet about some stuff. And, yeah, we'll probably uh, do Instagram another episode or Facebook. Or, yeah, I'd probably do another trailers episode in a few months from now or uh, after the con or whatnot and as we get closer to the end of the year, closer to Star Wars and uh, the, the usually the winter run. But, uh, yeah, MSK, I think, is going to give us a slightly different necessity from what I understand. Yeah, this is going to be a little different. Um, it's going to be harder because we've already seen this trailer and this movie, so it's going to be hard to explain this. But since you brought up the whole uh, different aspect of trailers... Um, every couple of years, there's the there's always a new way of cutting these trailers. I, I'm gonna give you the two most prominent examples. When Inception came out, when you hear the bomb, every trailer after that started doing it for like the bomb. Yeah, yeah. Every after after Inception did that, every trailer, every action movie did that same thing for like four years. The new thing yeah. now yeah. it's the. Um, 
the Suicide Squad, the fast cutting to music, yeah. the, the, uh, the click, 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 yeah. and they cut to the music, the queen, and every, everyone's doing that. Rap yeah. So every couple of years, there's always a new style of, new of cutting trailers. So, yeah, a new trend for trailers. So yeah, so I just want to bring up th- this specific trailer, uh, Death Wish 3, right? <laughs> if you go to YouTube <laughs> and look up Death Wish 3... This guy. <laughs> this guy. Death Wish 3. No, no, all, all jokes aside, I had to do that for you because that's his favorite movie. Oh, but... um. Uh. <laughs> no, the trailer. Just, I was just gonna side note. Be- side note. Before he says the real trailer, the '80s action trailers were the best. It's always that same guy. He's gonna take on. Everyone, He's gonna take on everyone. Yeah. And it's like an eight-minute trailer. Guns and more guns. Yeah. It's like that's you know, that's you know, you brought that up, but we have to let them know what happened. So, <laughs> so you one day wish, I'm, I'm skimming through, like trying to watch TV, and you tell me, you tell me to go to this channel. It was right. AMC. It was, it AMC. was AMC, and you're like, man, go, 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 see what they're watching, what, what they're playing right there, and uh, I went, and it was freaking Death Wish three, and I had to watch the whole movie. <laughs> you watched the whole, and I was totally joking. I, I didn't even watch the whole movie. I literally had to watch the whole movie because, mm. I mean, I've seen Death Wish, mm-hmm. but yeah, I've never seen part three, and at this <laughs> point. Where I caught it, I was going. I was thinking to myself, "How did I end up here? How did we <laughs> all end up here? And how did he end up here?" And I just had to just continue watching, and I would never get those, those that hour or whatever <laughs> long ago it was left for the movie back. And I hate you for it. And I've You're always welcome. mentioned it. How <laughs> much I hate, I hate that. No, but all, all seriousness, that that was my joke nerd necessity. So if anyone wants to go to YouTube and check out <laughs> Death Wish Three and feel Yopi's is pain, go ahead. I don't know why you would want to do that, but go ahead. Oh. Um, no, I wanted to bring up um, the first teaser. I think it was the first teaser to Cloverfield, because mm. when that movie came out, social media wasn't big, YouTube wasn't big, Facebook wasn't big. I think it was around uh, like the decline of MySpace, maybe where where it started coming uh-huh. out, mm-hmm. and that trailer hit and no one knew what it was about yeah. there was no there was no title for it it was just th- there was nothing there w- that trailer hit in in front of a transformer i think it was the first transformer movie that it hit oh. and it you see it and you see the party scene and if you go back and you watch it now it's it's it, you know it just seems like every like a, a stereotypical young adult marketing scheme yeah right and but back then it was like one of the first ones that did it and it was done so well that it got me so hyped, and we were talking about yeah. this earlier. If you if you get a movie, if you get a trailer that hypes you up for the movie, and then you watch the movie, yeah. and the movie's like okay, whatever, then it did its job. The marketing, the trailer, it did its job. So that was one of the first trailers that I saw that completely fooled me because I expected a Godzilla type movie, and, and what that's not got, exactly what I got. What you got? And but the way they cut that trailer and us not even knowing the name of the movie, I mean Cloverfield, the the name Cloverfield was very last minute because that's what the fans gave it, and yeah. it it was it was something different. It was and and you know as an editor, I'm a, I'm a video editor, so I, seeing that that trailer, the way it was edited back then, it really you know it was like wow that that was pretty cool what they did there. Now you can so, can you fun. find that that actual trailer online right now? If I go to YouTube, uh, yeah, it should definitely still be on YouTube. I mean, again, it's dated, so it, it probably won't have the same effect. So you have to kind of take yourself back there. I'm pretty sure you two remember the feeling of watching tr- uh, Cloverfield and not knowing what was going to happen because right. you know you didn't you know, know what that movie was going to be about. Yeah. Um, I, but I think that's something that people don't normally do, which is go back and watch a trailer after you've seen the actual right, film. Right, right. Only I do. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, but actually, that's that's actually something interesting to do because you get a different take on things and kind of like you know almost become um, your own self expert of looking at like when a film disappoints you, rewatch a trailer and kind of see what things triggered you into being overhyped. Because I have a, a, an issue with that sometimes. Sometimes I'm a little disappointed by films because I overhype myself because there are triggers in trailers that really like oh yeah i want to see you know right. they, they 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 know they know how to hook me and you almost like you know a self-growth thing you go back to it and see what your what your trailer triggers are as to what overhypes you or what makes you think that a movie is not going to be good and then you're like oh wow i was like 
you know, really surprised. But you might not want to cure that because that's actually kind of a good thing when a trailer, you know, kind of disappoints you. I mean, for movie buffs like us that are going to go see a certain movie anyways. Right. For the, the the standard audience that maybe watches one movie every two months, that it, it does have to capture them. Well, then that's not going to work. They need to, You need to have a strong marketing tool to get them in their seats. But, I mean, that, that's actually a different thing. Is I don't really remember the trailer now. For Cloverfield, but I do remember wanting to see that movie. Yeah, I do remember seeing that movie, and I yeah. didn't hate it, but I was not as I do remember not being as impressed with it as I bought into the hype was. So I'm actually I do want to rewatch that trailer to see because I, I, I yeah that that's a different take. That's that's a that's a great necessity, but I still have to agree with the fact that you guys are talking while, while you're explaining about trailers. Enough with the teasers of trailers. That thing. <laughs> yeah, I. I, I can't it's not even I the teaser of, of trailers. It's the teaser to the teaser. Yeah, yeah enough that for upsets that. me. Enough of that. And also, the less you put in a trailer and keep me intrigued. Yeah, less is more. And then after the movie comes out, show me, show me that extra trailer. But until then, don't give me all that information. I don't care. Don't care. Just keep yeah. me intrigued. That's all I want. Yeah, especially yeah. if it's a sequel. More or it's connected yeah, to another movie. Definitely. Yeah, of course. Because now we're looking for a surprise yeah. or a twist that we don't want to be uh, spoiled for us. So, yeah, I agree with that. So, all right. Well, I guess that was uh, a definitely a, a different take in our necessity. Uh, check out a trailer. Sometimes it's video games. Sometimes it's, uh, you know, who knows? You know, we always try to do different stuff that, you know, rounds us up, you know, up as nerds. So, uh, on that note, this is Omega saying peace. MSK, peace out. Yo, peace. Heat us. And there you have it, folks. This has been Fanatically Correct. Until next time, you crazy kids. Signing off. Death Wish 3. Go watch it. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>